It's very peaceful in Taksim Square here this morning, but you can see some of the signs of what has happened here. This car upside down and burnt out. There is another one very similar behind it. You can see people are coming here to take pictures. People want to show that they were here in this square, that they were part of this protest. If you move on towards this structure here, now this used to be a police security point in this area. This is the Gezi Park area of Taksim Square. It's where this protest started, where environmental protesters were originally campaigning against turning this park into a shopping centre. You can see moving on. This used to be a police bus. You can see the gentleman inside the bus there. Morning, sir. Protesters have been sleeping in this bus overnight because they are determined to retain some sort of symbolic control of the square. They fought long battles to get into this square. They were repelled initially by water cannon, by police firing tear gas canisters at them. But roughly mid-afternoon on Saturday, police retreated. These protesters moved in and they are determined that they will stay, in their view, in control of this square. As I say, it is very peaceful. People are volunteering, bringing food. They're shouting that this food is free for the protesters in the park. People are just donating what they can to feed the people who are sleeping here. If you show just down here, you can see a huge collection of different forms of lemon juice. This is being handed out to people to combat the effects of tear gas. So that gives you a sense of some of what is going on now in Taksim Square and perhaps some of what has happened here over the course of the last three days. As I say, they are determined that the protesters will remain in this square and for the time being, they are here, the police are not.